tonight at 6. No one likes getting stuck behind a semi-truck on the highway. Some people in Charleston say what's even worse is seeing big trucks and trailers in front of their homes. WCIA3's Bailey Bryant here with us now. So, Bailey, people are trying to do something about this. Right. They've taken their concerns to the city. They hope officials can come up with some rules that keep trucks and trailers from taking shortcuts on residential streets. For years, Jim Farley says his home on Taft Avenue was peaceful and quiet. But a few years ago, something changed. Just noticed a lot of farm and uh, truck traffic. Farley has lived here for nearly 39 years. He says these days, trucks and trailers come in waves. About 30 loads in three days. Farley says it's hard not to notice that kind of traffic. Noise pollution, shaking the house. But his biggest concern is Taft Avenue itself. I'd just like to see him rerouted and out of our, you know, not come across Taft Avenue, possibly break it down. Farley says residential streets like Taft weren't built to carry that much weight. So he and his neighbors took their concerns to the city. I would say at this point the city is looking into the issue. You know, we've got we've got to get information on the existing laws. You know, what can and cannot be done. We're talking the IDOT about it. Kurt Busher is the director of public works in Charleston. He says the city also plans to do a truck count to investigate the issue. We want to make sure our street systems are safe and they operate efficiently for the trucks, for the pedestrians, for the bicyclists, for the, you know, for everybody. Farley says he appreciates the city taking his concerns seriously. He hopes they can reach a solution that keeps trucks and trailers on main streets instead of using his street as a shortcut. And I know Lincoln Avenue is busy and, and they don't want to go across Lincoln Avenue. I mean, it's just tough that they have to come up through here, you know. Charleston City Council talked this over at their meeting last night. There were some concerns about making any rules without getting opinions from more people. Jessica. All right, we'll have to see what happens. Bailey, thanks so much. Now, in this story, we focus on Taft Avenue, but there's also a residential shortcut on 4th Street. Trucks can use those routes to get to Lincoln Avenue or to 18th Street.